everybody. Today we're going to talk about the AMF 8270 distributor, some of the parts on the distributor, how it works, and um, basic operation. Let's take a walk around. At the back of the distributor you'll notice two circular assemblies. Uh, the large one on the left is the distributor cam. And the cam has sort of an unusual shape around it. This controls side-to-side -side movement of the distributor. On the other side of this cam, you can't really see it, but we'll try to get in there, it has a similar shape on the inside, and it tells the distributor how to telescope in and out. And that is controlled with cam followers as they ride along the cam outline. The other assembly here is the clutch assembly, and this keeps positive movement on the drive uh, these distributors can go on either an even or an odd machine. And the drive shaft uh, connects here onto the distributor rear roller shaft on either side. Depending on where it's mounted, it may use either a roll pin like this side or on the other side a cotter pin to fasten the drive shaft to the machine. As you look up top here, we have the distributor belt. As the pins come off the pinwheel, they hit the orientation pan, which is this assembly with the two pins, and they are always fed bottom first. As they travel up the belt, they approach the trip arms. The trip arm assembly is used to index the distributor from station to station. As the pin moves over the front of the distributor, it will trip these set of trip arms, hence the name. Each trip of the trip arms will then index the clutch at the back of the distributor and move the cam followers along the cam to move the distributor from spot to spot. There are a lot of moving parts on this assembly. Let's go out to the machines and see how it works. I hope you enjoyed this informational video on the AMF Pin Spotter, and we'll see you next time on Behind the Lanes.